my friends. Welcome to my channel, Edamame and Grass Skirts. And it's a pretty ridiculous name, but last week I had a dream that I had a YouTube channel where I made crafts and it was called Edamame and Grass Skirts. And since I can't think of a better name, I figured I may as well go with it. I made this cute little book and posted it on the Junk Journal Junkies Facebook group and one of the women asked me how I made it. I realized that I couldn't, as I was typing it, I couldn't describe, I couldn't explain in words how I made it. So I decided just to make a tutorial showing how I made it. But essentially, this is what it is. It's a little tiny book. There's some ephemera in the back, behind the ribbon, a little charm. This one says escape, inspire, this here says live the life you dream and that says believe and it has a little wishing well. And this one has some uh, a painting in the public domain and I just printed it obviously in teeny tiny size and this word simplify that I printed on my own computer. Inside is a little booklet, just coffee, st coffee dyed paper and a little belly band where you could put your own little, you know, whatever, you know what they're for. So this is how I make them. The first thing that I do is take this piece of fabric. This one is an old sheet that I got at a secondhand store. I sprayed it with a combination of Tim Holtz Distress Spray. This is the tea dye and some Tattered Angel Mossy Tray. Anyway, it's got glitter in it. It's really pretty. So I decide which side I like more. I think I like this side a little more. Maybe, doesn't matter. This is about 12 and a half by three and a half ish. It's not exact. These two squares are each two and a half by two and a half. This is quilting batting. So I'm going to find the center of this piece and just finger press it. I intentionally sprayed the edges because I like that look more. I'm going to put one of these on either side of the center, about a fingertip distance from the center. Doesn't have to be exact. Now, my, my goal is, is I'm going to fold this over, crossing the center line, and this one as well. And I'm going to decide which one I like more. I think I like this edge more. I'm going to take the, I have two pieces here. This is lace and this is some ribbon. This will go on top underneath this. Oh, let me do it. This is easier. So I have the lace here and the ribbon here. I'm just going to put a pin here. I'm not going all the way through the layers. It's just to keep it um, you know, from shifting. Okay, but what I really want to do is bring the edges of both all the way over. Um, not both, just this one. Then this will go on top along with this, and I'm going to fold them both over just a little bit so that I don't have a raw edge. I'm going to pin this here, here, and here just to keep things from shifting. Then I'm going to sew all the way around the edge and along the center. I'll be right back. Okay, so I sewed all the way around and along the center. It's not completely straight. You can see they're a little bit off, but I don't care about that. Now I need to take some paper that I have cut to be slightly smaller than this in both directions. Here it is. And I'm going to sew it in here, in the center, making sure it is actually in the center. I'm going to take a clip, maybe two, to keep it in the center. Go ahead and ask me how I know to do that. And when I'm done doing this, I'm going to sew along this edge here, double checking that it is actually the center. I'm going to use the widest stitch length that I have because a short stitch length can perforate the paper, making them easy to tear out 
And remember, that's not what we want to do. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I've sewn the shade, sheets of paper in with a nice long stitch. The next thing I'm going to do is take some ephemera. I'm going to sew this on here. And then I'm going to sew this little word here. It says simplify. And uh, in the, these other ones that I've done, I adhered the words to chipboard and glued them on instead of sewing because I felt like they were just so flimsy that it could, I don't know, I, I just felt like it, the sewing machine wasn't gonna do a great job. But on this one, I did sew it and I did not use chipboard. I still prefer the look of this one, but I'm gonna go ahead and sew this one on as well. All right, and I'm gonna use a few stitches, go around it a few times. being sure just to sew on this, you know, not through any of the paper. So I did that, it's sewn on there. And now all I have to do is choose a charm that I think goes well with this and a bulb pin or a ball pin. I don't know what they're called. I hear people calling them different things. So this is what I do. I have this cute little butterfly charm bought it from Amazon. I can include a link in the bottom. I just take it. I put the butterfly through the pin and then I go in vertically instead of horizontally just like that. I close it and then I trim this but you don't have to if you don't want to. I trim it and then I just use it in snippet rolls. And that's it, my friends. That is how I made, oh, this is a little bit off kilter. That's how I make my books. I'll do it again, I'll, I will close it again like that. So it's a little straighter. But before I do that, I wanna show you a couple of the differences. This one, and this one are behind the ribbon that closes. The When I say this one, the ephemera is behind the ribbon. And in these two, the ephemera is in front of it. Uh, in this one, it closes in the front and center. So I just have this closed here for the video. But it'll actually live right here in the center. This one... It'll close on the side just like the other two. But that's it. Cute and simple. If you come up with a with a prettier way to close this, if you think of one, please let me know. Maybe make a video and send me a link to it. Okay, that's it. And thank you for watching Edamami and Grass Skirts.